To start with, heat the bezel with the hot air to loosen up the glue. There is a small gap in the iPad's adhesive ring in the upper right corner of the iPad, approximately 2.0 inches from the top of the iPad. You are going to exploit this weakness. Align the tool with the mute button. Insert the tip of a plastic opening tool into the gap between the front glass and the plastic bezel. Slide the opening pick down along the edge of the iPad, releasing the adhesive as you go. Make sure the pick is not too deep, max half inch 10mm to prevent damaging the digitizer. Holding the iPad by the top and the bottom right corner, rotate the front glass away from the iPad. Remove the four 2mm Phillips screws, securing the LCD to the aluminum frame. Note. The bottom left screw is obscured by the home button ribbon cable connector. Carefully move the home button ribbon cable aside to remove the bottom left screw. Using fingers or a plastic opening tool or a sponger, lift the right edge of the LCD out of the iPad. Rotate the LCD along its left edge and lay it down on top of the front glass panel. Be careful as you move the LCD. The ribbon cable is fragile and may break it if it is flexed too much. In this method, to save my time, I just removed the screws from the motherboard and the ribbon cables of the digitizer only. Carefully slide down the plastic card underneath the battery connector, releasing the adhesive securing in the place. Continue releasing the adhesive near the top of the battery. In the same manner as previously described, continue loosening the adhesive on all the strips to a depth of 4 inch. Continue to do this for all the adhesive strips. Make sure that all the adhesive glue has been loosened from the battery. Make sure that all the adhesive glue has been loosened from the battery and even from the battery connector. With the help of the prying tool, gently lift up the motherboard and slightly pick up and slide the battery out from the connector. I followed this procedure to save my time instead of removing all the components out from the iPad. Then go ahead and replace with the new battery and reassemble the iPad.
Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.